Okay, so this is a quick introduction to a project that I've been working on. Uh, it's called Lotskap, and it, it's a Norwegian pun, and it means uh, laziness, but it also means locker, so lazy locker anyway. And it's a um, semi-automatic drink cabinet, or liquor cabinet. And so the, the idea is that, first of all, once you approach it, it will open automatically. And second of all, you have the option to choose a recipe and once so a, like a drink recipe like a, a, I don't know you know vodka battery or whatever and then uh, it will it will ha it has eight slots in the uh, in the cabinet which has neo pixels built into it so that when you choose a recipe it lights up each uh, bottle uh, and then it will weigh, it also has a weight cell so it will weigh the drink as you pour it and it will tell you, you know, stop, now is the right amount. Um, so, so that's something that I've been working on lately. And it's, of course, it's using the manga screen. And I, I, for now, I just made a really super simple um, uh, app, which is just to show the basic workings of it and to test the opening and closing of this thing. So I thought I'd just uh, share my progress so far. I think it should, hopefully it should work this now. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it, it, it's a little bit unstable, but at least it's it's starting to come together. So, just have to help it last <laughs> a second. Okay, so here's a quick rundown of the electronics that is controlling the LUTS cup. So, uh, the Raspberry Pi is for uh, the display um, for the manga screen. And the Arduino is for controlling the motors. So these are two H bridges that have been created by uh, another guy on the project called Yon. And um, the, the weight cell goes down there and the Neo pixels. For now, they're just connected here. So this should light up, I think, if I press the P. Well, okay, one lights up. That's, so it's, it's connected, but it's not really functional yet. Um, and you you might think that it's weird to have both uh, both an Arduino and a Raspberry Pi on the same board, but NeoPixels don't work well with the Raspberry Pi. So for a low level control, like the real time aspect of it, it's uh, better to use an Arduino and just make a simple uh, serial interface. So the the Python app that runs on the Raspberry Pi just pipes commands uh, into the uh, Arduino, and it can also get uh, commands in terms of um, it can read the weight cell from this as well so that's that's what that looks like um, in the back there so it's a rat's nest but for at least it was it's working. <laughs>